Hello colleagues, uh, today we'll be talking not about uh, Marvel Mind products, uh, but a bit about Marvel Mind operations. So we do produce everything in Shenzhen, China, but the problem is that uh, all our services, Google related services like YouTube, uh, Gmail and many other services are not available in China and we need VPN, but even VPN like uh, typical ExpressVPN that we are using for example, is also blocked. So uh, our attempt is to use OpenVPN, uh, our private OpenVPN, so that uh, the VPN service, uh, servers wouldn't be blocked. Uh, our first attempt was uh, to use uh, Wi-Fi router and run OpenVPN. It's possible, but it looks like it's uh, a bit more complex and the second idea was to use uh, Amazon Web Services. We already have uh, our server, marvelmind.com server running on uh, Amazon Web Services, so it was pretty natural. Of course, we browsed, uh, my colleague checked, and it looked like a plausible solution and relatively easy to do. Relatively easy means not easy. So, and now we are showing the steps which are required in order to run uh, VPN on Amazon servers. So what to do? No, first of all, you go to Amazon, whatever catalog. So you go there and type open VPN. VPN. Press enter. Oh, sorry. Even before that, uh, it's very important to remember that different regions are not the same. So, for example, uh, if you run Hong Kong, there will be difficulty to connect to your instances because of uh, whatever peculiarities of Amazon. So, since we wanted to have something very close to Shenzhen, where our production is, of course, naturally was to use Hong Kong, uh, but it turned out to be problematic. So, the next options would be Singapore and Seoul, both work pretty fine uh, because connectivity is fast and uh, Amazon Web Services, or at least OpenVPN, works uh, good from those locations. And it didn't go uh, very well in Hong Kong. So this is the problem with Hong Kong. So it's very difficult to connect using a SSH client, so uh, more, more complex with Hong Kong uh, and easier uh, with Singapore. So this is why, okay, where we are, okay, here. So uh, then you see it's, it's not found here. So you go to this, this is your choice. Open the parent access server. Okay, it's only for me. So one access is enough or they give two or three or whatever accesses there. Then uh, there's another trick uh, that by default, they try to give you their small server. Okay, we wanted just a basic Nano because it's cheaper. This is also a reasonable price, but still this is even less expensive. So uh, you choose this and then you have this button launch instance from and you do launch it and then of course you choose uh what, where are we are singapore singapore uh, vpn version 02 because we already have one then again, this is a nice trick uh, from Amazon. Then once again, chose this. Maybe this is a good option, but okay, we wanted something least expensive. Then of course the key. So you need to have the key. We do have already some keys, but you don't. So you just make another key. So Singapore, for example. Key version not to um, create it quick again it's very easy when you know okay you save it uh, now you can launch the instance check again so nano key is there launch the instance so this is the process it takes a few seconds And this is the key point, which is problematic in Hong Kong and works well in Singapore, in uh, North Virginia, in uh, Seoul, in those regions where we tried, but it didn't work in Hong Kong. And it was one of, so this easiness to connect 
You see, it's available in uh, Singapore. Let's close it. And for some reason, it doesn't available in Hong Kong. Whatever, we double checked. Maybe we do something wrong, but it looks like it's simply the difference between different regions, which is weird, but nevertheless the case. So of course, if you are very familiar with SSH, go there. I am not. And uh, so this is much easier for me. And then press connect. This is the magic happening right now. Okay, so this is the key for everything. And we struggled in some other places, but this is this works smoothly when you run it for the first time. Okay, so this is the key part. Because if you run it for the second time, it doesn't show. And if you lost or forgot something, then uh, there's a problem. So you need to select this and then type yes. Basically agree whatever they ask us to agree. Uh, primary, yes. Okay, all interfaces, yes. Again, we are not up to their you know, super duper security. It's just to have a basic connectivity like like normally so yes okay also maximum compatibility we are not after something secure we are after just to have connectivity again maximum compatibility uh, also fine uh, these are the ports again just uh, to recall nothing particular but also something default and this needs to be changed, so it means that I want always to be connected over VPN because, again, that's the whole point, to have connectivity from China as well. Uh, okay, I don't care. So yes, so this is your name, which will be used to access. Okay, password. Okay, typing password. enter just repeating the password enter nothing about activation key have no idea what is that and this is the the the, the best part of all so now it's possible to connect so I copy pasted this and I just for example run it okay I have to accept the risk now we are using that open VPN as they asked, and the password we just created. Okay, I guess I mistyped. One more time, agreement. So two VPN connections are allowed, I guess uh, more than enough for me. Uh, that's basically it. Okay, uh, just to double check that the connection is there. So in VPN settings, uh, that it's yes and yes. So the traffic is yes, in our case is yes. So we can return back to whatever instances. Okay, so this is the thing. And now we connect to the client. So once again, this. And of course, uh, by, by the way, we have been all the time VPN sole connected with our previous one, but we create uh, the new one. And create the profile. Again, some risky thing to be accepted. Uh, pay attention to this. So it's now different. Open VPN as again password.
and uh, connect failed okay maybe i don't remember by heart already one more time that's it everything works uh, to make life easier and not to type uh, the password uh, again and again you need to switch this off and go to save the password and type the password one more time and <laughs> not at proxy but this is safe i don't know why they made made like this and uh so this are all the soul pass, uh, profile, Singapore profile, and this is newly created. And let's now check what's my uh, IP. Okay, it looks like we are in Singapore. Shall we be in Singapore? I already forgot did we do it in Singapore okay we did it in Singapore very good so uh, yes we are now in Singapore we can check and change and uh, try our soul and see where the rear jump back to soul let's try not the fastest thing and the Oscar goes to so we are still in we are still in uh, in where okay now we are finally in Seoul okay it works that was the steps hopefully you liked it if any questions please do ask us we are ready to help while we still remember uh, but hopefully uh, it will work in China as well because we have not tested yet in China thank you very much